Well, Southern Colorado schools have been hit with RSV and other respiratory illnesses the past few weeks, and today, two local classrooms closed because children getting sick with the virus. Our Ashley Portillo in studio tonight with more about the trend in local schools and what some families are saying. Ashley? Yeah, Rob, so today two pre-K classrooms in Pueblo D70 are closed because of an RSV outbreak. It's one classroom at Sierra Vista Elementary in Pueblo West and one classroom at Rye Elementary in Rye, Colorado. And per district protocol, the students will be out of the classroom for 72 hours and will return to school on Monday morning. When students return to the two Pueblo D70 classrooms, they'll be practicing social distancing, hand washing, and individual playtime. There are a lot of the same precautions schools, parents, and their children have taken since the pandemic started. Reiterate hand sanitizer, washing your hands, you know, trying to minimize the spread of it and obviously keep the kids home. Terry Richardson is a local parent. Her five-year-old son has tested positive for RSV two times this year. I know what we need to do. We need to just watch him, you know, keep his fever down because this time his fever was um, fluctuating. When her son's symptoms got worse, she took him to the emergency room at Children's Hospital Colorado. This time it was um, very heart wrenching, very scary for us in general, because like I said, it, this was his the worst round that he's had of RSV. He couldn't stay awake. He couldn't sit up. He couldn't do anything. In El Paso County, there were currently 54 RSV outbreaks at school and child care facilities. Outbreaks are defined as two or more confirmed cases of RSV among students with symptoms occurring within a one week period in the same group setting or classroom. It's just it's a very scary time right now for all of our little kids and even grown ups. Spokespersons from Colorado Springs School District 20 and Harrison School District 2 also say respiratory illnesses are circulating right now, although it's not uncommon this time of year and not of great concern when it comes to impacting school operations. The spokesperson with D20 also said that RSV cases have decreased significantly since Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, Richardson's son is still recovering two weeks later. He's doing a lot better than he was the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, he still has the lingering cough. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Kevin Carney over at Children's Hospital Colorado says there has been a significant decrease in RSV infections over the past two weeks. The hospital is starting to see decreases in emergency room visits as well as hospitalizations. However, he says flu cases among children right now are rising. Rob. Ashley.